Hey, good morning everyone. Hope you're having a good day and a good week. It's been a couple of days. I wanted to just share a Dvar Torah. It's a very Thursday. And this coming Shabbos, we again read two Torah portions. We read the portion of Achare Mot and the portion of Kedoy. How you treat them, how you do business with them. And one of the most, fa- one of the most famous quotes is which means love your fellow like yourself. And you might think, what's the connection? In one portion we read about Yom Kippur, in the second portion we read about loving your fellow like yourself and things that like that. And the answer is a very profound one and important one because we know that when it comes to Yom Kippur, the Torah says that God forgives you for all the sins you have done. But only sins between you and God. If you repent properly, then God forgives you. But when it comes to sins, the way you've hurt maybe possibly someone else or cheated someone else, the Torah says, God says, I can't forgive you. You have to go to your fellow and ask them for forgiveness. They have to forgive you because you hurt them. And unless they forgive you, God won't forgive you. And maybe that's why these two are connected. From one side we have the story of Yom Kippur, which is forgiveness between man and God. But God reminds us how important it is to have to love your fellow like yourself and make sure that you don't hurt them, you don't embarrass them, you don't give them shame. I once saw a bumper sticker that says, love your fellow, even, and then in parentheses it says, even if they're not like yourself. Which the Torah was really telling us, the Torah doesn't say love your fellow that's similar to you. He says, love every Jew, no matter what, no matter how they are, even if they're not similar to you. You know, this week, they commemorate Yom HaZikaron in Israel. And for my family, personally, it's a very important day. My father, you know, there's over almost 25,000 soldiers that were killed in battle in Israel for such a small country. One of those soldiers is my father's brother, who was only two years older than him. Also, we, 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 we memorialize the thousands and thousands of terror victims. One of them was my father's mother before the state was even created in 19... 19- 48. My father had an uncle who was also killed by the British just for being out after curfew in 1946. It's an important day. And I once heard this story about this parent whose son unfortunately was killed in battle, was killed in the IDF. And when they came to visit him, one of his teachers from when he was a young kid in fourth grade came to visit him. And the mother told the teacher, I need to show you something very important. You see, when this kid was in fourth grade, the teacher asked all the kids to take a piece of paper and on each piece of paper he wrote one of the kids' names and he asked each one to write something good about that kid. And each of the classmates on that piece of paper wrote something that they thought was special and positive that they thought about their friend. And then he took the piece of paper, the teacher, and he gave it to every one of the friends, to every one of the kids he gave them what all his friends had written and spoken and said about him. And to this IDF soldier, who went on to battle for his country and succumbed to his wounds when he was shot there, he kept this piece of paper in his pocket as a soldier. It was so important to him what his friends thought about him that, <clears throat> albeit he was much older, and he was already an IDF soldier in his pocket, Lie this piece of paper. And that's the message the Torah tells us. Yes, between man and God is important, and Kippur is important. But with it comes, love your fellow like yourself. Treat your fellow like you would want to be treated. And find positive attributes and kind things to say about them and to think about them because it's important to them and it's actually important for you too. Have a great day. See you tomorrow, God willing.